Украинский Нью-Йорк. Украинский Нью-Йорк – это урбанный тип settlement в Донецк регионе. Это около 3 километров от места активных хостелей. Это пришло под огонь от русской армии несколько раз. Until a month ago, the streets of New York were virtually empty, but now more and more locals are coming back here. Some haven't moved out at all. Nina has three grandchildren. Her daughter died of the coronavirus and her son-in-law has a disability. She says they are ready to live in a dugout, but they are not going to leave the village. My grandfather said that if they bombed the house, we would dig a dug out in the garden and leave another cellar safe anything. At the time of the next arrival, an 84-year-old woman was sleeping in her house. We dug her up, we found her, everything was broken there. Did she survive? Of course she survived. Cash machines and pharmacies do not work in this settlement, but there are more grocery stores. Sellers say people are coming back, so they don't plan to leave New York. How do you live here? It's not easy. Every day there is shelling. Of course, it's scary. What gives you strength? Maybe the understanding that people need products? Yes, I feel very sorry for people. You can evacuate on your own, right? I can, but then what would happen to the people? Russian troops have been shelling New York for about three months. Hits are recorded in both residential buildings and educational institutions. This kindergarten was closed at the beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion, and no one was in it except the guards. Now there is a crater left in the yard by an incoming missile. The kindergarten hasn't been working for a long time, right? Right. Tell me, was anyone here? It's not a military facility. It was empty, right? Well, yes, uh, there was only one employee. So there was a man on duty? Yes. The entire Torrets community came under missile attacks by the Russian army. About a dozen schools and kindergartens were destroyed. And this is one of the kindergartens in the neighboring city of Toretsk. As you can see, almost nothing is left of the preschool institution. The missile attack was carried out by Russian troops two days ago in the early morning. About 200 children will no longer be able to return to this kindergarten in the near future. In total, since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, about 300 educational institutions have been damaged or destroyed in the Donetsk region. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Alena Hramova, UATV News.